There are over 3,000 different species of snakes. These slithering creatures live on every continent apart from Antarctica, in oceans and on mountains. And they come in all types of shapes, colors and sizes. So you can imagine they face all sorts of predators. And every now and then, snakes meet their match. The tarantula is an Arizona blonde tarantula. And the snake is likely some western lognose snake. Despite being highly capable of kicking butt, these serpents don't always succeed. 15 times snakes messed with the wrong opponent. <coughs> Kung Fu Kangaroo Rat The rat versus snake duel is over faster than you can blink. The snake strikes, the rat leaps into the air, kicks the snake in the head and bounces frantically away. Neither combatant gets the meal they were hoping for. In fact, Kung Fu rats foil four out of five snake attacks. Quick draw encounters like this happen every night in the desert and go largely unnoticed by everyone, but the critters involved. Both rattlesnakes and kangaroo rats are extreme athletes, with their maximum performance occurring during these interactions. And that's why a team of researchers decided to get a few of the actions by recording a summer's worth of snake on rat attacks using high-speed cameras. The resulting footage revealed that rattlesnakes and kangaroo rats are surprisingly well-matched as predator and prey. The team found out that the kangaroo rats could react to incoming snake strikes in as little as 38 milliseconds, sometimes jumping clear of the snake in 70 milliseconds flat. It also proved in glorious slow motion that these rats are furry little ninjas capable of high-kicking acrobatics that would put an Olympic gymnast to shame. Some kangaroo rats were capable of pulling off complex mid-air maneuvers that left the snakes reeling. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Snakes will eat other snakes and unfortunately on occasion will confuse their own tail for another snake and will end up like this. And as you can see from this image, the head of the snake being eaten is still in its mouth. The circle in the circle of life, kind of. A few snakes also do a type of luring, which is a fast tail wagging to attract prey. Unfortunately, snakes are more reactive than proactive, so the tail wagging could catch their eye and make them think that that's prey. Easy enough mistake, right? However, while snakes do try to eat themselves from time to time, it does not seem to be intentional. But these episodes can be fatal. It can be difficult for them to let go once they've started eating. Do you just sit back and witness the carnage? Slither into the comments and tell us what you think by using the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Secretary Strikes this bird's eye English name was once thought to come from the 1800s when Europeans first spotted these birds. The secretary bird is famous, but not for their typing skills. Unlike most birds of prey, these strange birds hunt on foot. Its success as a hunter is a direct result of the mighty blows they deliver with their powerful legs and talons, up to five times their own body weight and strength. This bird's got legs, and they know how to use them. When researchers tested one of these tall birds' kicks out with a decoy packed with sensors, the results were staggering. The contact time between the bird's feet and the snake was measured at just 15 milliseconds, a tenth of the time it takes to blink an eye. So with their accuracy, speed, and ferocity, experts sometimes describe the birds as ninja eagles on stilts. And since venomous snakes are a staple in the bird's diet, the speed and efficiency that they land a fatal blow to the snake's skull are vital to their survival. The consequences of a missed strike can be deadly, so the kicking strikes require speed and accuracy enough to sufficiently stun and kill prey. But can they fly? Of course! They may spend their days on the ground, but secretary birds are good flyers and nest and roost high up in trees at night. Mm -hmm. Doberman Defends Owner a dog is considered man's best friend, and based on this video, it's for good reason. A dog ran over to a snake in a field and hurled it into another dimension, much to the relief of the hound's panicked owner. The footage posted on TikTok shows a grass clearing flanked by undergrowth, while a black Doberman stands in the distance. In the foreground, a snake is blocking the man's path. Clearly, the human is a little afraid. 
Within seconds, the Doberman races back, at which point its owner lets out a frightened gasp. The dog instantly grabs the snake in its mouth and sends it flying high through the air, where it appears almost rigid and out of sight into the undergrowth. Although the type of snake is not clear from the video, some commenters on social media reckon it was a garter snake, which is non-venomous and common to North America. But you've got to be careful. The most important thing you can do is keep your dog on a leash and monitor them while you're out on a walk. That way, you can prevent your pet from sticking their face into heavy brush and their nose into rock crevices where snakes may be lurking. It also helps to stay on well-worn trails so you can see what's ahead. <laughs> Super Brave Squirrel Squirrels are among the more docile wildlife and rarely attack unless cornered. Even though squirrels will rarely use direct confrontation as a defensive means and are more likely to run away, sometimes even swim to evade predators. But these critters have a repertoire of defensive measures that they take to protect themselves. This is the incredible moment in California a brave squirrel fights off a snake and sends it slithering away through the grass. The start of the video shows the squirrel cautiously inching past the snake. It seems as if the squirrel has managed to sneak away but at the last moment, the snake lunged at the animal. This startles the person filming, and they turn the camera away in panic. But to everyone's surprise, the squirrel seems to be winning in the encounter, and they soon start filming again. You can see the snake flinch away as the brave squirrel chases after it and bites it continuously. The snake tries to wrestle the rodent into submission, but is completely unsuccessful. The squirrel is tough and tenacious and battles the snake on a wooden bridge, through bushes, on a walking path, and then through some more grass. The squirrel and snake locked in a standoff. <laughs> Gecko rides snake. This is nature in hard, tough action. A western natal green snake, non-venomous to humans, though probably mildly venomous to other small reptiles and animals, was seen before lunchtime in the rafters of the dining area at this bush camp beside the Tugela River in South Africa. The snake discovered a very large, apparently docile and battle-worn Wahlberg's velvet gecko. After attacking the gecko in the rafters, the snake and its prey fell to the floor. The retaliation of the gecko was both a natural reaction, as geckos do, as well as highly intelligent by clamping the snake's mouth closed and by holding the snake behind its head. They're not just great-looking lizards and snake handlers either. The geckos are expert bug catchers and do worthy work in keeping the mosquito population under control. They're fond of beetles and butterflies too and will snack on millipedes if the occasion arises. If you see one of them in your room, you're in luck. They don't bite or carry disease and you can rest assured that you have a pro-pest controller in your residence. This western natal green snake won this battle in the end, but the gecko put up a great fight. <laughs> One tough turkey. This was not your average day on the golf course, with two turkeys going head to head with a gopher snake. This female got more than she bargained for with this snake. More hilarious is the puffed up male, who couldn't care less about the snake and the predicament of the female. There's no chance this snake could swallow this bird. So it begs the question, do turkeys kill snakes? Yes, turkeys kill snakes. Turkeys are omnivores. This means they eat plants as well as meat. They aren't choosy eaters, so they eat all kinds of meat, like snakes, frogs, mice. And turkeys are very good snake hunters. They prey on them in the forest and overgrown weeds often. It looks like this golf course will have to do. Turkeys are not even afraid of chasing away some snakes that are a little big from what they might consider their territory. So, maybe not all snakes are afraid of turkeys, but they should be. If you have a lot of turkeys in your yard, they'll kill the snakes there and other snakes will be scared of coming around your property. They'll group around a snake and harass it until it leaves if they don't eat it first. In fact, many farmers have given their testimony on how their turkeys were able to get rid of snakes on their properties. Gorillas find snake. It was Gorilla vs. Snake at Disney's Animal Kingdom recently when we visit the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, there are a plethora of things to do. Disney's Animal Kingdom not only delivers enchanting experiences, but it also brings guests up close and personal with a wide range of wildlife. 
and visitors to this Disney park got more than they bargained for while strolling the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. The group of gorillas discovered something else had managed to get into their enclosure. A snake had somehow got lost in their home and the gorillas were more than curious to discover why this stowaway was in their habitat. The footage sees a young gorilla idly sitting at the glass window when something catches his eye. It circles around slowly, not quite sure what hides in the straw at the corner of its home. Soon after, another gorilla approaches to join the search and that's when chaos erupts. Guests can be heard shouting, there's a snake, while the action unfolded. The small reptile was too quick for the gorillas, but that didn't stop the whole troop, including what looks like the silverback, crowding around the snake. And just like humans, gorillas are very curious about what goes on in their habitat. They're known to be incredibly intelligent species of wild animals. <laughs> Iguana Escape Is this Mother Nature's greatest ever televised battle of speed, luck, and resilience? We think so. The Iguana vs. Snake's standoff of a lifetime. Millions have watched this new baby Iguana hatchling welcome to the world on its home island of the Galapagos. A volcanic archipelago shrouded in exotic history and ecological majesty, only to witness the little tyke immediately ambushed by a den of hungry snakes. A lot of snakes. And not only does it have to outrun one of these racers, but it must also pass an army of snakes to do it. The iguana starts running, and the chase is on. The serpents start slithering out from the rocks to join in, and it looks like the poor baby iguana is in for it. It even gets caught up in a bunch of tangled snakes, but somehow the reptile gets free and scurries up the rocks. The youngling, inexperienced and acting on instinct alone, versus the deadly grace of the visually impaired footless chasers. The snakes just couldn't get a grip on the amazing lizard. So, when the little guy escaped the trap of trails and flashing tongues, Glee overcame every single person who watched it. <laughs> Bobcat Battle This bobcat tried to make a meal of this rattler, but the snake was having none of that. Graceful and stealthy, this North American cat is an extraordinary hunter and can thrive in regions from Canada to Mexico. But how does it fare next to a rattlesnake? Rattlesnakes frequently try to protect themselves from approaching animals by issuing clear back-off signals. These tip-off signals include expanding their physiques and attempt to come across as bigger and more threatening, hissing and even clattering their tails, courtesy of their rattles. This bobcat is not getting the memo. If you ever witness a rattlesnake engaging in any of these behaviors, be extremely careful and stay away. Although many rattlesnake bites are venomous, they don't necessarily give off the venom every single time. In any case, if you're bitten by any type of rattlesnake, get emergency medical assistance immediately. Does this curious bobcat have any idea? Bobcats are at their most active during the twilight hours when potential targets tend to forage. In the wintertime, though, food gets scarce, which prompts some of the cats to change their schedules. Maybe this bobcat was hungrier than normal when taking on a rattler. Clash of the Killer Reptiles Captured on the African Oliphants River, watch this crocodile try and catch a massive python. It only begs the question, if an anaconda takes on a crocodile, who would win? Anacondas are among the biggest snakes in the world and they primarily live in South America. Crocodiles also have a range that includes South America and that means they could run into an anaconda in the right situation. So which animal wins? Size, power, and defenses are three of the most important indicators that we can use to figure out which animal would win in a fight. Anacondas and crocodiles are both very large creatures. An anaconda can weigh up to 550 pounds and measure up to 22 feet long with a body diameter of 12 inches. That length measurement is incredibly rare though. Crocodiles are more massive, weighing up to 2,000 pounds and measuring 20 feet long. An anaconda can have upwards of 100 rear-facing teeth that they use to bite and force their food into their bodies. Their crushing power is immense, enough to crush a human to death, and this power is used on much larger creatures. Anacondas have better senses, and they would know that a crocodile was lurking about in most environments. However, this croc prevails over the snakes in this battle to the death. Corvid Mind Tricks Crows are extremely intelligent birds. 
They have the largest brain of all birds except for parrots. The body-to-brain ratio of a crow is the equivalent of a chimpanzee. This means that it's not far all that from humans. As to why this crow is playing with this snake, your guess is as good as ours. Crows have been observed using basic tools. For example, some crows in Japan use cars on the road to crack open nuts. In some instances, crows have been observed using sticks to access food out of reach. Crows have an excellent memory. They've been known to hide food away to save it for later. Sometimes moving the food two to three times, always remembering where it was hidden. Do crows eat snakes? Yeah, they do eat snakes, especially the small ones. They do not have any special diet and will eat anything they find. If they spot snakes, they won't miss the chance to eat them. And if a crow notices any snake within its reach, it'll attack that snake with an intention to kill it. This is because the bird considers every snake as their possible food, despite their species and size. However, there's rarely any chance that a crow will be successful in killing a giant snake. It might as well have some fun in the meantime. Mongo's Mortal Enemy From a black mamba to the even deadlier Cape Cobra, the mongoose is fearless. You'd be surprised how tough these furry creatures are, inside and out. Mongooses are quick and agile, as you can see, and have strong jaws and thick hides. They're long-bodied, short-eared, weasel-looking animals, some of which attack and eat snakes. And they have no problem messing with a cobra. In spite of its size and extravagantly toxic venom, which can kill a human in 30 minutes, in fact, they're notorious snake killers, how can it be that a skinny mongoose can take on a king cobra? The mongoose has their own anecdote to the cobra's deadly potion. They're not immune to the venom, but thanks to special mutations in their nervous system, the snake neurotoxin has difficulty binding to the mongoose's receptors, rendering it less effective. It's not impossible for a mongoose to get sick or even die from a snake bite. They've evolved resistance to snake venom, allowing them to keep fighting even after receiving a bite that would kill most animals. A moderate amount of snake venom won't phase them much. A mongoose will always come back for more. As tiny as the mongoose is, it's still capable of rendering the cobra powerless through biting its head and neck. <laughs> Massive Tarantula Attack When it comes to human fears of the animal world, snakes and spiders are right up there. According to a new study, perhaps snakes should be fearful of spiders. It seems arachnids the world over like to chow down on the slippery serpents. Researchers looked at 319 reports of spiders feeding on snakes from every continent. The data showed that spiders representing 11 different families have been observed eating snakes. A typical dinner menu for spiders might include insects, worms, or even small lizards and frogs. But some arachnids have more adventurous taste. A surprising new study finds that spiders can immobilize and then eat snakes up to 30 times their size. The captured snakes end up being quite a feast for the spiders, which would sometimes spend days eating their meals. The spiders were successful despite the considerable size difference between them and their prey. Previously, all reports of spiders and the tarantula family eating snakes came from captivity or experimental situations in which researchers presented the snake to the spider. Large tarantulas are known to eat small birds, mammals, and reptiles in the wild. However, when push comes to shove, this happens. <laughs> Hen stands her ground. Chickens are both omnivores and opportunistic feeders. If you let them forage in your backyard, they're sure to stumble upon a wide variety of foodstuffs, including insects, spiders, grasses, and the vegetables in your garden. They aren't picky animals. If your chickens find something interesting, it's fair game. You may wonder if their diet includes snakes. The answer is yes, if the reptile is small enough and not quick enough to escape. But what is a hen to do if it has three cobras eyeing the bird's eggs? Chickens conform to something called a pecking order, which is essentially a hierarchy of power where each chicken falls. Heard of the saying, I rule the roost? It definitely has practical applications, as this hen is proving. Where they are in the pecking order often dictates how they exhibit their personalities, just like humans. The hens who rule the roost may seem fearless and boisterous, whereas the ones down the bottom are often shy. This hen is just plain mad and not giving up. 
But since they ingest their prey whole, snakes that do manage to swallow an entire chicken would not be able to get out of that coop again unless there's already a chicken-sized opening in the coop. But even three cobras are no match for this hen. Mother Cat Protects Kittens It's hard to imagine how this could end well when a poisonous snake comes across a tasty snack like a cat and her new kittens. In the wild, animal moms face many hardships to protect their new babies. This video features a mother cat fighting a deadly opponent like this to protect the litter. The fierce, poisonous snake approaches the cave with the goal of approaching and eating kittens. But the brave mother cat does her best to fight the aggressive snake to protect her kids from being attacked. Seeing the enemy's actions, the mother still fights back, and as you can see, it turns into an all-out brawl between the cat and the python. Cats are curious animals and have the natural instinct to hunt for prey like rats, birds, and squirrels. Snakes also hunt the same kind of prey. Both cats and snakes hunt almost the same creatures, making them both predators. But this mother cat has no problem showing a deadly serpent who's the boss. So, will your cats keep snakes away? Yes, but not necessarily always, because while snakes consider cats as predators, it doesn't guarantee that having cats around will discourage snakes from getting near, especially if there's food. Did you enjoy these snake on non-snake smackdowns as much as we did? Although we can't guarantee that no snakes were harmed in these battles, make sure to like and subscribe since you're here. And stick around, there's much more video greatness to come. Mm -hmm.